Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Dell printer drivers and software to your Windows computer. So assuming you've already have your printer already hooked up, you have all the ink cartridges installed, and you're having this problem connecting to your computer and you don't have any DVDs or CDs that came with the printer. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that and get everything installed. So it should be a pretty straightforward process, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. In the Google, you want to search for Dell printer drivers. Go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be from a Dell.com page here. It says support for Dell open print driver. Go ahead and open that up. So you can go ahead and change the product here as well. So if you click on the change product button, you can insert the product name, model, etc. But let's just go along with our example here for this open print. You go ahead and select versus drivers and downloads. It should take us right here. You can enter the driver name or keyword if you had one, but you don't have to do that. But you can see it right here. It says Dell open print driver. Go ahead and check mark that and then select the download button. And once it's on downloading, go ahead and open it up. Discover your PCL and PostScript printers with its powerful network search and connect to them from a single printer object. Go ahead and select Next. Accept the end user license agreement and then select Next again. And you can make it the default printer if you want. It can also install driver support for both 32 and 64-bit printing clients. Select Install and select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And once it's done, you can click on the Discovery button and go ahead and scan for printers that are connected. So make sure your printer is turned on and connected to your network or plugged in. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.